Hi everybody, it's Catherine. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, before I show you the my monthly wildlife manicures from January, I wanted to just show you kind of a little Valentine's haul I did over the weekend. Um, we were in Germany, so I wanted to just show you a couple of polishes that I picked up. Um, on my nails, I have this beautiful polish that George sent me, and this is uh, called Sun Hat. And it's just this gorgeous pink from Model Zone. Absolutely love it. And I was just doing a little Valentine's Day manicure. So um, yeah, it's really cute. I love this. This is from a Born Pretty plate. Let me just get the name of that plate for you. It is this one right here. Uh, L004 so there it is there so really really cute I think it's from last year those born pretty plates and the little girl and the boy as well now the topper is actually something I want to show you today so I'll get to that in a second before we do I want to show you a polish that a friend of mine sent me one of my best friends she sent me this um, she sent me a little care package and this is one of this is one of the items in it this is no turning back from pink street and it is from opi and i didn't have it and boy is it a beautiful pink with an absolutely fantastic formula so i'm going to wear this to my second treatment uh, this week and it's gorgeous that's it in two coats i've top coated it as well it's just a fantastic formula. I really, really like these Infinite Shine formulas or in, Infinite Shine polishes. Um, I only have a few though, but I've always been su pleasantly surprised at the quality of the formula. So that is the first one I want to show you. And I've topped it using, so thank you to my friend for that. Thanks a million. <laughs> um, I have topped it using two of the toppers from the, um, Essie collection, the Valentine's collection that came out. The first one here, you'll get a better idea of the glitter colour in here. This is called Sparkles Between Us and there is a silver micro glitter there. Then there's kind of an orchid colour hex glitter and a pink glitter in different size hexes as well. And here it is over this pink from OPI. I think it works really really well over the pink. I've also put it over this deep red which I'll show you in a few minutes and I've put it over this purple and I like it over all of them actually. I think it's it's a really nice pol uh, polish and I may actually wear this one over the pink um, when I go for my treatment this week because I really really like it and I like the way the orchid shows up. So yeah that's really really nice. So that is Sparkles Between Us. Now, I believe there's six polishes in, in total, but I only got uh, two of them. This is the one that's on my nails as well. So this is You're So Cupid. And it has, I love the packaging as well. It has a red hex glitter in a couple of different sizes, a white hex glitter, and then a pink glitter, and then a tiny, teeny, tiny um, a red glitter too, and a pink glitter. It's really, really pretty. Um, I love it over the pink. I think it's just perfect for Valentine's Day. Um, but it also looks good over the red because the red really brings out that pink. Um, the pink is quite close to the OPI, but I really like it. And then over the purple, it looks good too. So yeah, really like these choppers. They went on pretty well. I will say I did have to go in with a second coat on my pointer fingers just because I got very big glitters out and they didn't lie completely flat, but I, I don't mind that. But if you're not a fan of that kind of textured feel, I have them top coated here and they're fine, but they may not lie completely flat. Um, I think they're all okay on the wheel. Just trying to see if there's any kind of sticking up anywhere to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. I think they're all okay on the wheel, but on my nail, I did have this one here stuck up a little bit. So I just added a second top coat, but that's that's all. So uh, the other ones on the wheel then, let's talk about this one first. Now Essence are changing my bottle. Somebody are changing their bottle. Somebody reminded me in the comments uh, recently that they are changing them. And so when I went to Germany, all of their gel line were reduced to 95 cent. So I picked up 
backups of some of the colors I have. I can't remember if I had this already. I have a feeling I do. Um, I could be wrong though. This is called the One and Only, and it's a really beautiful, dusty, kind of blood red color, like deep blood red color. And it's just really, really lovely formula. I, I picked up backups of other colors that I had that I really love in this gel line. And I picked up some presents and things like that, but they didn't have a huge amount left. They didn't have um, the, the the most amazing selection left, but I really liked this red. And even if I have it already, I like red. I like wearing it, so I don't mind if I have two bottles of that. But I'm, I'm, I think, I don't think I have this one. Anyway, so there it was with the two toppers. And then um, this I'm certain I don't have. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I don't have it. This is number 10, True Love. And this is a true raspberry colour. It's a really, like you'll see, there's a lot more pink in it than uh, this more kind of blood red colour. And here it is. It's a beautiful formula as well. These are all in two coats. And uh, yeah, really, really like that a lot. And then I picked up this one, number 67, Love Me Like You Do. This is a very kind of brown toned pink. Um, there's, it's kind of, yeah, it, it is a pink, but there, it, it's like, a, it's not quite mauve. It's, it's like a mauve brownie pink. That's really hard to explain. Um, but I really like the kind of, the the effect of it on the the fingernail because it just looks different to any other cream that I have so I decided to pick it up for 95 cent I can't really go that wrong so yeah and I was kind of inspired you know for Valentine's Day I've, there's a lot of reds and pinks here just I don't know just in the mood I was also with Ivan so maybe I was just feeling the romance of our little day trip and everything then uh, Catrice have some polishes, uh, new polishes out, so uh, I couldn't resist. Uh, they're now 100% vegan, um, but this one is so beautiful. This is a kind of lilac you, which is also kind of Valentine'sy, and it's a beautiful pearlescent uh, lilac with a blue flash to it. It's a beautiful glow. There's like there's almost a pink flash there as well in person and it's gorgeous. Now, this is in three coats. I really, I need to try it on the nail. I'm really hoping I can get it in three coats on the nail. You can see there's still quite a lot of light coming through there, but um, hopefully I'll get it, but I'll report back on that. And I really, really like it. It's not too brush strokey as well. The, the strokes seem to dry down well. So yeah, and that's it with top coat too. So that's I kind of lilac you. And then this purple, oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. This is my kind of purple, that real kind of cabri blue toned purple. And it has a very subtle shimmer in it, but the shimmer doesn't really show up on the nail, but it does give this kind of satin type effect. Now I have top coated it, but it does give a satiny type of effect there. Now, actually under the ring light, you can see the shimmer all right, but in person, in just regular light, I didn't pick up the shimmer, but I'm, I wanted it for the color anyway. I just think it's beautiful. And this is called, if not purple, then what? I kind of agree with that. I kind of agree with that. It's absolutely lovely. These are great, great formula, great bottles. I love everything about this brand. So that is the Catrice um, polishes that I picked up. And then finally, just something that I want to show you that it isn't at all a um, polish that is for Valentine's Day or anything like that. But if you remember a couple of months ago, I did a tag video with um, the girls. And one of the questions was, have you ever like had a polish that you you didn't buy? Sorry, I'm busy top coating the swatch stick here for you. Um, have you ever had a polish that you didn't buy and regret it and I did I had a, a Dior polish that I didn't buy and regretted not buying and then when I was in that pharmacy the other day I spotted it so I decided to get it this is it this is it was reduced from 28 to 7 so they still had it out so obviously they didn't sell it last year and here it is it's a nice kind of army kind of really really grayed out green it's really on the edge of a um, 
of green it it looks very very gray indeed that's it in two coats on the swatch stick and i just hastily put a little top coat on it which didn't work out very well because it looks a bit bumpy but um it needs a little bit of a shake up but the application was fine it's called metropolis i really like it i don't have a green in this color so i'm very very pleased to have it i have decided throughout march to wear just green polishes for just St. Patrick's Day and my family are coming over from Ireland so I'm celebrating all things Ireland. I might throw in a St. Patrick's blue as well but yeah this is definitely going in the rotation for March and uh, I really really like it so uh, I found it. I got, I, re I, you know, I got it again so there you go. No more regrets so uh, and it's a pretty good bargain as well down from 28.97 so that's Dior Metropolis. So that's it folks that's all of uh, the polishes that I've been picking up recently. I also picked up Essie Summit of Style which I forgot to bring over from the cupboard but I'll put a picture up here of it. I wore it actually on the 1st of February and it was the last kind of glitter topper from Essie that I had to get. So that was a little bit of a lemming of mine. And I got it thanks to uh, Claire and her Fragrance Direct um, video. She also had up some of these Colour and Care base coats or treat, no, what is it? Treat Love and Colour base coats um, and strengtheners. So I, I picked up a couple of them because I kind of, I need a lot of strengtheners at the moment. Um, my nails have kind of stopped growing. Um, I'm not, I'm noticing that they're not growing. Um, I, at least they're not growing to the same extent as they usually would. They, I would have noticed a lot more length. But hey ho, the tumour is shrink shrinking, so I, I can take the nail shrinking as well, or at least not growing, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so that's it. I picked up lots of lovely um, colours now that I can use for Valentine's. Let me know what you like to pull out around Valentine's. A lot of people aren't a fan of Valentine's. Normally I wouldn't bother, um, but this year I'm celebrating all things love. I, I'm going to wear a lot of Valentine's manicures. So I will leave you now with the My Wildlife Manny slideshow. Thank you so much to everybody who took part. I, I'm overwhelmed with how good the, the submissions were. They're amazing. As usual, I'll show you my manicures first and then everybody else's afterwards. And you'll see their name in at the top um, from their Instagram post. So make sure you can you go over and follow them so you can follow lots of new um, nail art. You can also follow the hashtag, which I'll put on this video. And yeah, so uh, for February, it's cat and dog. And for January, it was bear. So I hope you enjoy the show. Thanks everybody again for taking part. And thank you so much for watching. Talk to you again soon. Bye.